Hmm. Oh man, I got the. Hmm. I'll put it back in. So I'm starting to disintegrate. Up. Hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the past, since taking the train to Tibet. I got the clothes that I have been in my mouth since 2.30 in the morning. It's oh, about the morning. Shout out to Blue Light Brigade. I'm coming to you in Blue Light. Blue Light Brigade, well, I'm talking to you. I wake up in Blue Light every morning. You should too. No, no, I just take that right. No, you, should, you do wake up whenever you need to wake up. Right? But I, I particularly like the Blue Light, and so that's what I do. I'm here to talk to you now. I hope, uh, let me say something, uh, oh, that's right, this, uh, by the way, this is a, um, I got this in India, which I'm going back to, I don't like to the top, but, which I'm going back to, uh, in, uh, in January, I'll be going back to India, this is a uh, linen, linen shirt, <sighs> I bought some other stuff, uh, some linen stuff, so it's going to be, hopefully some, uh, some pants, uh, but the top's going to be made with linen, I'm going to try to do a whole lot of linen this year cotton and linen, but mostly linen, like right? cause it's supposed to be really good for your skin, you know what I mean? Like the other, or your, or your, uh, most of your garments that, uh, you know, that you have like polyester, of uh, any kind of, that the plastic in it, kind of, they treat stuff with the, heard the, uh, you know, the yoga pants and stuff like that, they treat, they treat, uh, they treat you with the chemicals and it gets into your skin, it's, they, they be trying to kill you. Oh, ooh, can I have to say one thing. First of all, I hope you all are taking a, a little break <laughs> from, from the aftermath of uh, you know the uh, U.S. elections, please just take take a break, right? I look at something else. Somebody think, oh, I got a sneeze. I can't believe early voice, Steve. <coughs> early morning, it's like doing the blue light. <coughs> it's like my body says, hey, you know, aspirate. Well, anyway, um, aspirate. We about to use another big word. I wonder if he knows what it means. Anyway, here's the thing. So, 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 because everything they, they, they do with you now is trying to kill you, you know, all, everything's in your food or whatever have you, the medicines, the pharma, <coughs> pharmaceuticals, everything, you know, they're trying to kill you. You, you get something and, and they, they add stuff to it, you know, just not talk about the mercury and the lead, you know, even in the pharmaceuticals and the, and the, the, the shots like that. So, um. So I've been trying to do a lot of, I'm going to do a lot more linen than I can, if I can. Uh, well, I will. A lot more linen. I want to get more, forget what I want to do, but all that stuff. I want to talk about something. This is a, this is a Monday. This is a, what we call, a, what I call a me day. I talk to you every, every, every day uh, on something, on a on topic. On Mondays is a me day. That's today, Monday. On uh, Tuesdays, it's a, a talk about the U.S.-centered stuff. Uh, Wednesdays is uh, World Center stuff. Got sneeze again. Thursdays is wait for the sound effect. <coughs> audio drama. Audio drama is driven by sound effects. It's the most important person. Uh, Friday is uh, you know, a wrap up of the week. Um, you know things I might have missed. So, uh, Saturdays is like whatever comes to my head day. Sundays I'm supposed to read something to you and then then riff off of that. So we're on Monday right now. So it's a me day. Take a little take a little break. And I do need to talk about me because um, um, because uh, it's coming to that point of the year where um, things are starting to happen. I gotta put things in place in time for next year, whatever happened. So that's what happened. But um, uh, I came across something that's interesting. When I talk about me, I'm, I actually I'm talking about you also. This is once a week or once a whatever. In fact, I was born on a Monday, so it's appropriate. Uh, or you should really reflect on you so on a weekly basis. I say on a weekly basis, at least, or sometimes monthly basis. Forget that yearly thing. Well, if you're gonna do yearly, then you have to do by uh, twice a year. You know, once on your birthday, once on your New Year's, or something. You know, whatever you can. Why am I, I should got my tablet. I would start again, but we're talking to you in blue light, so I don't want to, you know, mess things up. Okay. So anyway, so. Uh, uh, I, I'm always thinking and trying to figure out what, what makes me me, and that means you have to go back into your, what do you feel, your, your, I guess your childhood, early thing. And I realized one thing because I, I move around a lot. I, I live in at least well two different places when I'm, you know, when I'm in the, uh, in the uh, Eastern Cape right now. And then when, every time I come through Cape Town, I'm usually here. So I'll, I'll be, a, 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 you know, a pack of some someplace else. Uh, and uh, uh, I just talking to my, uh, not talking, yeah, I guess, well, communicating with my uh, healer 
in India because then she moved this thing that's closer to where I stay. You know, I, I stay in this, uh, I stay in a guest house that's run by these by musicians, and uh, I like that a lot. But his place is where he's with, uh, he does his healing. Well, he does, yeah, he does his healing. Also, I'm going to he does martial arts. So when I get to India, I'll be doing a martial arts, still working on my body like that. And uh, all these things sort of just happen, you know. Well, you know, some things well, it just happen. Like uh, I'm in Cape Town right now, but uh, I have been living in Cape Town for about uh, for like ten years before I realized. Wait, it's so cool. I've been here too long. Like, this thing, I guess, just gotta leave. But most of before Cape Town, I'd never lived more than more than uh, three years in any single location and stuff like that. I had not, well, except for when I was well. I was, I was made, I was uh, reared in the, in the South Bronx, in the Mount Haven section of the South Bronx. That was like, well, I, I left there in 1970. It was like basically 20 years or 19, well, really nine, nine, 19 and a half years I was, uh, well, in the South Bronx. <laughs> uh, but even in the South Bronx, that was all the boroughs. And luckily for me, again, you know, um, I, I was born in a place where they had trains and, and good communications. You didn't have to just jump in a car. And so I would be all over the place. As a young, I mean, I rode, I rode the subway system in the South Bronx. I was a road subway system in New York uh, when I was like, you know, I was like eight years old. You know, I'd be riding the subways by myself. Back then, you could could do that. There wasn't a whole bunch of, you know, whatever it was. I remember one time I was, I remember one time I was uh, on, in the Times Square area. It's on 42nd Street, actually. I was just looking at this window, and this guy, you know, I don't want to say white guy, but older guy came with it. And I was looking at saying, he said something to me. And I just kept on looking. I think I might have mumbled something back. He said something else. And I need, I don't think I looked at him. I just left, you know. Because that's when they, they're, they're, these, these, these uh, I guess they called pedophiles, they be picking you up for like uh, uh, at the video arcade. But this, they didn't have video arcades then. But you know, they'd be picking you up off the street. And then when video arcade came, video arcades came, then, whoa, then things were like really... They will prey on you. Where, where were children at? You got to watch. You know, there should be some sort of, you got to watch. Let's put it that way. But I bring that up only because one of the things I found on the internet, one of the aftermath of these uh, whole things, uh, on looking at uh, uh, different people, different, um, um, call them bloggers, or different situations where people are interviewing people. There's this uh, sister out of, I think, Atlanta. Um, and she's, uh, she's uh, hanging with, or she's been hanging with, um, RFK, but before that, she was with Trump a, Trump, a Trump long time ago, she was with RFK, but she was through with the uh, Republican Party, Democrat Party, but she left RFK, then he went independent, so she still hung with him, and then he joined the, he joined the Trump team, and she really wasn't going to mess with that, but she really likes him, so she hangs with him, but she's a sensible sister, you know, when I say sensible, it's because sense means you, you have, your, your senses are whatever, you have your, your mind. So, I have my mind. It, what keeps me my mind, mind, my mind, uh, grounded, censored. I don't lose it. Is that because I read a lot? I I, I research a lot. I, I move around a lot. I'm talking constantly, talking to different people, uh, different uh, different environments. You know, think of me as like they say the, the uh, falcon is the smartest bird. Now he's smart, not because he's a falcon, because he still has a bird still. Small brain, but because they have to go to the, they have to fly the longest distance, in it, in it, in, well, in, at high speeds. So the environment keeps on changing, so they can adapt to the environment. So they 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 adapting, 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 adapting. You know, and so uh, I think of myself not as a falcon, but I think of myself like that. I I keep on adapting, 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 adapting. And uh, I think because of that, reading this, through all kinds of things, not just, I mean, I'm just going to, that's going to keep on reading mystery novels, or just going to reading uh, nonfiction, or, or just not reading about uh, this, the, 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 the Roman Empire, or the whatever. I'm going to, you know, be as varied as possible, you see? And I think once you get your mind like that, then, then you're all right. But let me go back. My earliest thing uh, was when I was, uh, or it was, uh, yeah, I'm actually 5150, talk about uh, bloggers, shows. Um, 5150 is like the orphan of the state, let's put it that, the state, you know, for about two and a half years. And uh, before we was adopted by this very evil woman, I don't know if about it. anyway, uh, at a very young, that's like three years old. Uh, uh, they would, I was at this place called St. Joseph's by the Sea. This is, this is Staten Island, I guess. And uh, and they had these, uh, you'd be behind this like cage, right? And people come by, it's almost like they're picking up. 
Oh, I'll take that one over there. Oh, that that cute or whatever it is. And uh, what I uh, that's my early, one of my earliest memories. You know, be behind a cage, and that's one of the reasons my adjustment in the in the world. I just can't be caged. <laughs> that's what that way. I think they some took over. I guess people say there's those kind of bad psychological things that happen to you, and that's a bad psychological thing being in a ward a ward of the state. But what it did to me, I I, I guess I'm a rational. I'm I'm always not only am I not I don't like to be caged. I'm always looking for the exit. I mean I, I I'm never affected by the cage like that. I guess I'm affected by the cage, but I'm always looking for how how to get out, how to adjust the cage if I have to stay in the cage long. Uh, uh, don't do it. But if I stay, stay after stay one thing, I'm always I have to rationalize my way out of the situation. Let's put it that way. So that's that's a strength of mine. You see, uh, for instance, I I don't get writer's block. I don't get depressed. I don't get bored. I mean, I don't say I guess I get not at all. You know why? Because whatever is descending upon me, <laughs> you know, I just my, I just find a way to rationalize why this is happening and how I can turn it to my advantage. I'm a jujitsu, I'm a jujitsu guy. Let's put it that way. Right. Uh, so, um, so I come to you and tell you that I'm not going to too much longer because this is a me day and I want to talk a lot. Well, but I need you to be you too uh, and find out your purpose. Stop reacting to all this, to madness, you know, especially when you don't, you don't have all of the, the facts. One of the things I was talking about this woman that was hanging out with uh, Bobby Kennedy uh, uh, Jr. and now I guess she's going to be part of the, the Trump team because Bobby Kennedy, he's he, he's vetting all of the uh, the appointments or he's going to somehow with the, with this the transition team or whatever have you, uh, but he's going to be in charge of the pharmaceuticals. And one of the things I learned from her, what she said, or well, I learned from someplace or read someplace, he's going to make sure. Well, one of the things that they're going to do to get the fluoride out of the water. This is a huge thing. The fluoride poison in the water is, I think, it's affecting people's brain. I guess you, it's the accumulation of a fluoride or something like that is really. This is why I look at these people talk about yelling at other people for their vote and, and getting upset and not giving. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. I, I I'm, I'm I'm shocked. Even in, in, sitting in, in South Africa, even around the world, this stuff happening. You know, people are, are, are saying this and saying that. It's going like, well. I'm not paying too much attention. I have to come. No, you know, I got other things to do. In fact, I'm going to the embassy today. I got to go. The point is, for your own sanity, <laughs> find the good. Find the thing that's to your advantage that's happening right now in the world. And you might find that it helps your sanity like that. And not only that, you have to have a purpose, you know. And the purpose, your purpose on the planet is not to keep on sniping against somebody else or whatever you're doing. Your purpose on the planet is, is much bigger than that. So, you know, find out what it is. And, and, and don't be, a, don't be here we go, a sore loser if you think you lost, you know. Or better still, since something else has happened, find a winning situation in that something else. For me, it's like Bobby Kennedy Jr. is going to go after the pharmaceuticals and, and all that, and, and like that, and... Uh, but that's that's what it is, you know. Find your you. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon. Well, tomorrow.